The next generation will know how to use AI in every aspect of their lives. We're the only species that actually creates tools that enhances our intelligence. Almost every young person today is growing up in a world of algorithms. We need to teach them the human skills, critical thinking, teamwork, and problem solving. My name is Amanda Slavin. I am the founder of an ecosystem called The Future Frequency, an ecosystem of educational tools and products to put the learner at the center. The way that I would describe my job is a lot of ways, but I have always seen myself as an educator. Studies are beginning to show that when people learn interactively with AI, they learn much faster. The Industrial Revolution model mapped to workforce opportunities in which you had to be a productivity machine. The metrics in which we've measured success is based on outputs, but 50% of learners are disengaged at school. The output is usually what we evaluate students on, the essay or the, the answer. Now we have to pivot to the process they took to get there. Even if they used AI, what was the critical thinking? What steps did they take? We do not need to test every single child the same exact way, particularly if that way does not bring out that child's gifts or skills. Now, workforce is changing, and that is what defines our educational models. There's some basic skills that maybe you don't learn in school that we're gonna have to teach to understand how to interact with AI, like critical thinking and asking good questions. It's not a magic box, it's math, not magic. We have to use it in the right way. How can we use AI to teach you and to support you? Guardians and Learning Frequency is a personalized LMS that changes and evolves based on the people using it. We have a proprietary methodology, which is to ask learners questions about themselves. It's asking them questions like, what tools do they need for learning? What communication preferences? How do they limit distractions? What allows for them to be most productive? We visualize those answers into an avatar that the learner then can interact with and get strategies. The next phase is for learners to create and train and model personalized learning agents. Agentic AI can take action. You can have it do things like personalize your education. And the more that we create those personalized educational maps for ourselves, the more we'll be able to achieve what we want to achieve. We have built our data sets on the research and we actually show what we've trained the LLM to parents and teachers in order for them to trust what we've utilized. I think that powerful role of a teacher actually becomes more important in a world where AI is personalizing learning and the opportunity that you have to lift your students and help them envision a future where they're relevant, where they're growing, where there's opportunity for them. With AI, we can adapt to every student. If they have special needs in the way they learn, we can adapt to that. Every learner learns in a unique way, and that uniqueness is their superpower. If you can get that personalization unlocked, I think AI, again, has this amazing opportunity to transform education. It allows for the learner to be an active participant in shaping that learning. Understanding the way you learn increases student progress. And so what we need to do is actually teach learners how to understand the unique ways that they learn. I think that is the beauty of being able to integrate for good and to educate in a different way. I've been blown away and unbelievably inspired by the kids' reactions to what I've designed. Imagine a world where all of the minutes of the instructional day are used in service of creating the people who are going to run society. For leaders of organizations, they need to remember that actually there's no one size fits all in terms of helping people develop the skills needed in the context of AI. Those who have grown up with technology, they expect that in the world of work. So allowing them to experiment, to innovate is really important. We need to brace ourselves for an increasingly technological future, which is only going to multiply all the creative possibilities at our fingertips now. Treat this as a period of continuous learning. While it's growing and evolving and improving, we have to adjust and change with it. When we have a desire to learn and understand, the less fearful we are, the less uncertain we are with the technology. When you lean in, that is how you enable real change. Organizations need to really emphasize the importance of lifelong learning. It's not just a tomorrow problem. 
The future is here now. 